Namaste, everyone. Welcome to yoga class. Okay, today we will practice love your back. Okay, before we start to practice, I would like to tell you that um, you should not uh, practice over your limit. Okay, feel free all the time to take a break. Doesn't matter. You feel like uh, you feel not so good to do in asana. So just take a break and come back to practice again. Okay, today I would like to share with you uh, three techniques or uh, three secrets what I use for to do back bending. Okay, it will make you improve your back flexibility. It get uh, very easy for to do back bending too. Okay, as traditional, before we start, we will play uh, the mantra first. Okay, you can sit nice and tall, lengthen your spine, lower your shoulder back, sit comfortable as you wish. Okay, we start to play Gayatri Mantra together today. Uh, if you can pray, just feel free to pray together. If not, stay and be silent and get the positive energy together. Okay, slowly close your eyes. Palm facing together in front of your heart. Calm your mind. Take a nice deep inhale. Om. Om Bur Buaswaha Tatsa Go de was a di mahi di yo yo na prajo daya om bur buaswaha tat sa vitur waren yam bar go de was a di mahi di Jodaya Om Bur Buaswaha Tatsa Vitur Varenyam Barako Devasati Mahi Diyo Yona Prajodaya Take a nice deep inhale Om Shanti 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 Bring the thumb to your forehead Exhale slowly bow down to the floor. We're connecting ourselves to the nature, to the universe, to the Lord Shiva, to our master, our guru, our teacher Rania. Namaste everyone. Okay, let me check quick about the voice. Okay. Okay, I think it's a uh, better. So as I told you, for to do um, most of the time in daily life, we spend the time, we sitting, we watch handy telephone, and all the time we do forward bend. We don't do uh, back bending. So this is great time for to get experience, for to love your back, to how to get a good back bending. I show you three techniques or three secrets of my personal practicing. Okay, first part we will do about the thoracic spine, upper back stretching the second part is a uh, side bending or twisting for your latissimus this is help also for you improve your back flexibility and the third part is so as muscle we will straight our earth so as muscle most of people think about when you when you like to do back pain you just take a uh, straight your back 
But the truth is, you choose straight your psoas muscle. This is important part too to get you unlock your back bend. Okay, now we let's uh, starting with warm up together. Okay, you can sit comfortable. Inhale, thumbs up. Okay, when you thumbs up, interest your finger, palm facing up to the sky. You can move side to side. Okay, and now slowly, gentle, arch your back, t i e b o n e out. Do it gentle, okay? No force. Like this, for to open your shoulder. Okay. Now exhale slowly, side bend to the right side. Okay. If you have flexibility, you can put the elbow down. But the important thing is both hip, uh, both hips on the floor. Inhale, thumbs up, interlace your finger, arch your back, open your shoulders. Keep breathing. Exhale. Side bend to the left side. Feel a lot of stretching here. Maybe in the morning, if you practice before, you feel good. Maybe in the first time of your morning, maybe now is very stretch. Feel a lot of stretching here. Inhale. Thumbs up. Interlace your finger. Arch your back. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Keep breathing. Both hips to the floor. Okay, inhale, thumbs up. Interlace your finger, arch your back. Okay, exhale, side bend to the left side. Try to put your both hips to the floor and look up. The head not hang down. Ready, the head up. Ready. Like One more time. Inhale, thumbs up. Interlace your finger. Arch your back. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Breathe and stretching. Okay, last time. Inhale, thumbs up. Interlace your finger. Arch your back. Exhale, side bend to the left side. Okay. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale. Now you twist to the right side. Try to twist. If you can do it, you put your left hand, grab your inner thigh. If not, it's no problem. Stay at your own pace. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale. Twist to the left side. Lengthen your spine, belly in, and twist. Maybe you can grab your inner right thigh. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the left side. Okay. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, release. Okay. We do tightly, a little bit here for two. Warm up our hip joints. You can do fly high too. Round your back and up and down. Or do a little bit. Okay, we straight our inner thigh. Quick here. Spread your legs. Okay, don't have to be 180 degree. Do so much as you can. Okay, round your back. Inhale. Arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Okay, one more time. About side bending. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Can be here. Can be here. Side bending is great also for a good technique to give you improve your back stability. That's why I let you do uh, side bending. Okay. Inhale, exhale, side bend to the right side. Okay. Be happy. Your body will like you, love you. That you straight them. The lattice moves. 
Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, grab your knees and come back to Titali again. Okay, now bring the knees together, feet together. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the left side. Try to twist the whole body, the whole upper body, not only your arms and your shoulder, okay? The whole diaphragm here. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the right side, lengthen the spine, twist the whole upper body, your diaphragm. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale, thumbs up. And now exhale, you can separate your knee like this. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Level one, you can stay here. Get maximum your stretching. It's good enough, okay? But if you can do forward, you can go forward. Slowly go down and level two, you can interest your finger behind you. Okay, be careful that both hips to the floor, okay? Not lift your hip off the floor. And level three, you can do separate and lift your legs up like a V-shape. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Level one, level two. Shoot your level self. Okay. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Interest your finger if you can do it. Both hips to the floor and breathe. Okay, exhale, release. Inhale, come up. Arms up. Last time, exhale, twist to the right side, level one here, level two, slowly go down, interest your finger, and spread your leg, okay, inhale, slowly come up, okay, now cross your leg, we do a little bit now, a uh, cat and cow here, okay, Warm up our spine. Check your alignment. Hands shoulder distance. Knees hip apart. Tuck your toe. And hips to the knees. Wrist to the shoulder to the wrist. Inhale, tie bone out. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, untuck your toe. Roll your back. Chin to chest. Be gentle to your spine. Inhale, tuck your toe, tie bone out, arch your back, look up. Exhale, untuck your toe, roll your back, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, tuck your toe, arch your back, look up. Exhale, untuck your toe, roll your back, chin to chest. Okay, now try to let your hips here, don't move your hips. You can go slowly here. Okay, you can use the pillow or you can go stay here or you can stay down. Okay. Slowly go down. Atho Mukha Svanasana, Puppy Pose. Keep breathing. Exhale, hips down, feet down, and um, hands to your chest. And slowly come up to Bhujanga. Okay. Try to lower your shoulder back and down. Lift your lip catch up. Breathe. Do with gentle, okay? No force. Exhale, twist to the right side. Try to look at your right foot. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Look at your left foot. 
Exhale slowly down. We do again two times. Okay. Inhale, come up to Bhujanga. We try to. This is a basic pose, you know. Cobra pose or Bhujanga is great. Also, basic foundation of back bending. If you do here, comfortable. If we do forward for a deep back bend asana, it's very easy too. So try to comfortable with um, cobra or bhujanga. Okay, that's why I let you to to practice three times. Okay, exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Look back. Exhale, release one more time. Inhale, come up. Arch your back, feel comfortable. Breathe. Exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, chest down, tuck your toe, and slowly come up to p a v a r a t a s n a Mountain Pose. You can bend your knees, walking in pairs, and slowly walk to your hands. Grab your elbow, rock side to side. Feel good now, no? Inhale, slowly come up. Okay. Now we will warm up our shoulder. Okay. You can. I show you. You can do like. The important thing is your arm have to be straight. Okay, you can do so much like this, and rotate up, back, come up, back. Okay, so the most thing important is your arm straight. We do ten times together. Okay, it depend on your flexibility. Okay, I do like this. Inhale like this, right? Exhale slowly down. One, two, three, four. When you lift it up, try to open your chest. Inhale, open your chest. Okay, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, at home you can do it every day, or you can do every single day. It give you a uh, so shoulder flexibility. Okay. So the next is we will do. Important thing is inhale up like this, right? Exhale, you twist to the right side. Try to both arms straight, okay? And tie bone out. Both arms straight, tie bone out. Do with gentle, okay? Be kind with your body. Love your back, love your shoulder. So do gentle with them, not force. Both arms straight and arch your back. Inhale up, exhale. Twist to the left side. Both arms straight. Arch your back. Tie bone out. Inhale, arms up. Come up. Exhale. Twist to the right side. Both arms straight. Tie bone out. Arch your back. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Okay. Soften your face too. We practice with happy, not with a uh, struggle or force our body. So be gentle, be kind yourself. Practice with happy. Inhale, come up. Exhale slowly. Twist to the left side. Smiling. Enjoy this stretching. Okay, inhale, arms up, exhale, release. The next, you need the. Feel free to take a break if you need water. To sip water, you can do that. 
Okay. First block we lie like this. The second block we lie like this. Okay. Like this. And we will put to the right foot. Use the strap. Okay. I hope it worked. Nah? And now, left foot first here, right foot 45 degree, and the distance around 1 meter, okay? 1 meter here. And now, inhale. Straight your arms. Exhale. Tie bone out, arch your back, slowly both legs straight and try to both arms straight too. Try to walk down and straight. Keep breathing. Be gentle to yourself. No force, okay? Maybe you are here, you are here. No need to force, but try a little bit with gentle. Okay, inhale, come up. Exhale, slowly bend forward. We do three rounds together, okay? Okay, inhale, slowly up. Arm straight. Exhale, tie bone out, arch your back. And slowly straight. Your arms, your legs straight. Open your shoulder, upper body, upper back. Tie bone out. Keep breathing. Okay, inhale straight, exhale slowly bend forward. Keep breathing. Okay, now the last time. Inhale straight your arm. Exhale slowly tie bone out, arch your back, open your chest. And straight your arms. Okay. Inhale straight. Exhale slowly. Bend forward. And now we inhale, come up, we change to the other side, okay? So, put the strap to your left foot. Okay, right foot forward in front, back foot 45 degree and the distance around one meter, okay? Okay, inhale, straight your arms. Exhale, tie bone out, arch your back. Keep breathing. Okay, inhale, straight. Exhale, slowly bend forward. Keep breathing. We do again two more times, okay? Did help a lot to open your upper body, your thoracic, your shoulder, okay? So be gentle to yourself, practice with mindfulness, and be happy to practice. We love our back, so we give them also a little bit open. Inhale straight, exhale. I think my block is not straight because uh, be careful that if you have the slippery the mat 
ูปเด็ดอีสเตเบิลโอเคลูปไม่แมทอิดควายสลิปเปอรี่โซอิดนัทโฮโอเคเอ็กเซลทายบนอัลท์อาร์ชูแบ็กโอเพนยูเชสแอนด์เลนเทนยูอาร์อาร์มส์ทรายทูสเตรดอิดคีบรีดิ้งโอเคอีนเฮลสเตรดเอ็กเซลสโลลี่เบนฟอร์ว Okay, last time, one more time, and then we are finished with this step. Okay. Inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale, tie bone out. Be gentle, tie bone out. Arch your back. Stretch your arms if you can. Inhale, straight arm. Exhale, slowly bend forward. Okay, now slowly come up. Grab your mat. Uh, you are blocked back, and we will release. Okay, you will release shoulder here, quick like this. Okay, hug yourself. You can drink water a little bit if you need to take a break. Now we will open again. t o r a c i c spine, upper back, shoulder. You can use the block, okay? In this high level, but be careful. Try to practice with slowly and be gentle and mindfulness. Not hurry. Maybe you can fall down from this, and then you can get injury. Okay, so try to be gentle. So like this for protect that you don't fall down. You can grab the elbows like this. I'll show you like this, right? So the elbow can be like this for safety. Okay. I show you this, but after I will try. The other, because when I do this, I feel nothing. So I have to try search something that I can feel something. Okay. So maybe you are here, right, this, and you slowly. The distance is between um, the block and your knees. Between uh, it depends on your flexibility. You can be here slowly, slowly, slowly back, and try to let your head down. Okay. If not, it's no problem. And you are inhale up, round your back. Exhale slowly, go down. Okay. You can keep your block a little bit more. Okay. Inhale up, round your back. Exhale slowly, go down. Okay. Keep breathing. We do one more time. Inhale, round your back. Head up. Exhale, slowly, slowly down. Try to put your head down to the floor. Inhale, round your back, and slowly walk back. Okay. Now the next, take your chair. Okay, bring the chair that the chair is um, stable. Okay, and feel free to use any towel or blanket under your knees. Okay, the distance is between your flex. It depends on your flexibility. So. Okay. Look the flexibility yourself. Adjust yourself. Okay. We inhale. We exhale slowly. Slowly arch your back and go down. Okay. 
Maybe I come out more. Mm. Keep breathing. Okay, inhale, roll your back. Exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly bend down. Straight your trapezoid, your thoracic spine, your upper body, and breathe. Inhale, roll your back. Exhale, last time. Okay. Keep breathing. Okay, inhale, round your back. Okay, slowly come up and bring the chair back. Okay, after Taurus expire, we do already lattice mood, we do already twisting. Now the last part is we will straight so as muscle. It's very great for to give you unlock your back bending, okay? Because if you open here, you open here, but here is still tight. How can you do back bend with easily? Okay, if here is still tight, and if you go to your lumbar spine, your lower back, and then you will get hurt. After you hurt, you will not like back bending anymore. You will feel like you're afraid to do, you don't like to do. So today, feel free to practice with me, and you'll be happy with back bending. I hope so. Okay. Now the last one, the last part, we can start with the, feel free to use the pillow, the towel, the blanket under your knees, okay? First, right foot forward, back foot here. Okay, you can use the block to help you like this. Okay? We stay here a moment, we straight the so as muscle here. Okay, now when you are finished, if you can do it slowly, grab your ankles and like this, level one, okay? Level two, three, maybe you can put it here. And maybe you can use the block like this, or maybe like this. Or you can grab like this. It's more beautiful when you come up, when you come down, it looks like that. But here it gets straight, stretching your ass muscle so much. This is my good technique for personal self, when I feel like my so as muscle so tight, you know, I use this. This is my favorite one. You can try too at home, okay? Every day, every single day. It depends on you. Okay, now slowly release. Now we change to the other side. You can use spring technique to put your hips down and breathe. Now, slowly grab your ankles, okay, and straight. You can stay here. Or you can stay here like this. Try to put your hips down. This is unlock your back bend. Very good technique. If you don't believe, you can try at home. After you will feel better in your back bend, okay? Especially when you like want to do some dance pose, natalajana pose, this is great uh, workout for that you can do it. Okay, now slowly release. Okay, now we should do the other thing. T 
Okay. Straight maximum here. Okay. After that, you use your level one. Maybe you are here. Okay. Level two, elbows down. Level three, you grab your foot, your ankle, and try to open your shoulder and look up. Keep breathing. Okay, now we can release, and we change to the other side. Okay, you can stay here first. Keep breathing. Try to put your hips down to the floor. Okay, use spring technique. Okay, when you are ready. Level one, stay here. Level two, elbow down. Level three, you can grab your ankles and open your shoulder up and straight your hamstring here. Feel very nice, right? Keep breathing. Okay, now exhale, release. We can come back to Bhavratasana quick. Okay. Okay. Now step your right foot forward. Do the other one. You can use the block. Feel free to use a block. Like this. Keep breathing. We try to stretch our muscle, uh, so as muscle here. How is it? How you feel? Feel very nice, right? A lot of stretching now, so as muscle. I feel good. Okay, now slowly open your chest, open your shoulder, and look up. But no force. If you cannot do, stay at your own level. Okay. Slowly up, and now try to straight your front leg, and slowly bend forward, hips square. Keep breathing. Okay, slowly go back to Bhavratasana Mountain Pose. Okay, my mat is very slippery. Okay. Now step your left foot forward. We change to the other side. Okay. Feel free to use the block all the time. Okay, and then it more comfortable for you. You can use. If not, don't need to use. Keep breathing. Ekaha, two aha, three aha, chetuwaraha, panchaha. So now, if you can do forward, slowly open your heart, your chest, and look back. Slowly come back, and now slowly straight your left leg and slowly bend forward. Hip square. Keep breathing. Feel good, right? Okay. Now exhale. Step your right foot back. To Bhavratasana Mountain Pose. Okay, straight here. 
Keep breathing. Exhale, knee down to the floor. We will do Ustrasana or Kamya Pose. Okay. I show you three variations. For level one, you need the block. Okay. So, feel free to take a break if you need to. Sip water. We don't drink water. We sip and then put in the mouth two, three seconds after swallow. Okay. So level one. Tuck your toe like this, and the block here. The important thing is after we stretching our psoas muscle. Now it will help us to activate, have strong enough for to go down, right? So. Now, important part, important part is try to lift and open your shoulder. You see now, you lift it up, lift cage up, and rotate your shoulder back. Okay, like this, it will protect your lower back. You will not get hurt or you will not hate back bending. You will love back bending. Okay, and the important thing is breathe. หายใจนะคะอย่ากลั้นหายใจ Important thing is you 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 need to breathe. You cannot hold your breath and after you get feel dizzy. Many people they get dizzy when they do drop back when they do uh, back bending because they hold the breath. After they come up, oh my god, I get dizzy. I headache and and you know. So breathe, okay. So now tuck your toes, open your chest, lift it up. One hands to the block and slowly go down. Maybe you are here. It's okay. Maybe you are here. Maybe you are here. Or no. Exhale. Come back now. Chin to the other side. Ah, oh, don't forget. Feel free to use the. Mat on your mat or the towel or the blanket under your knees. Okay, but actually, if you use the core muscle, you have flexibility enough. The weight will not go to the knees. But for protect it, you need to. Okay, for beginner, you need to. Okay, and now lift, open your shoulder, your chest up. Inhale, exhale slowly. Slowly come up now. Level two. Okay, maybe I need this because anyway my mat is so thin. Okay, so we don't need the block for level two, but we still tuck the toes. Really easy one. Think that it's easy, and then if you see easy, you enjoy it. Okay, nothing difficult. So open, lift your shoulder up, right? It come already like this, and one hand here, one hand here. And slowly, if you can, put your head down. Slowly down. Slowly come up. Okay. And the third level. Okay. We don't need the to tuck the toe. We flat the toe here like this. And we inhale. Lift, open your shoulder up. Like this. Go down. Breathe. And slowly up. Okay. After this, we do l a t b i t pose or s a s a n k a s a n a Okay. So counter pose is sit v a s h a l a s a n a or whatever. Maybe you separate. Maybe you have a big belly, or maybe you feel not comfortable. You can spread your knees a little bit. Okay, t r e s s your finger behind you and slowly go down. Okay. Now slowly come up. The next we will do uh, for Chakrasana or we pose for beginners. If you feel like too much for you, I give you a variation. You can do bridge pose or Setu Bandhasana. I show you how is it. Okay, how it looks. You lie on the back. 
and you grab your ankles the belly your lower back go to flat to the floor not give them a gap okay and when you inhale use the power the energy from your feet okay send the power energy to lift you up inhale hip ups and slowly up like this right okay this is enough for level one or beginner if you feel like you are comfortable you can lift your right leg up go down lift your left leg up and slowly down okay this one is variation for people who really beginner cannot do a chakrasana okay but if you feel like your flexibility enough you can do follow me with chakrasana anyway chakrasana it give you also variation for level one how you look warrior two warrior three okay so lie on your back the feet not so near not so far away okay cloud the floor with your feet okay the lumbar spine or lower back flat to the floor not let them keep, give them a, a gap or a hole here okay and the hands near your ears and the shoulder not up shoulder near to your ear and you use inhale you use the power from your feet lift your hip up inhale level one maybe you are here okay level two maybe you are here slowly come up and level three maybe you can use spring technique to help you straight your legs okay keep breathing and slowly bend your elbow and head down and slowly down okay you can hug your knees and rock side to side how is it I think it's easy right you can try it after when you try it you can slowly to be to the right side the left side doesn't matter and come back and twist remember all the time when you do back bending you should do cutter pose it will be forward bending okay or twisting for back bending you can counter pose with twisting too okay one more time and slowly go to the side okay after you can do again Pashimottanasana if you still feel like oh you want to make more counter pose again okay you can do it so the counter pose is not have to be 100 percent okay so you just do forward bend a little bit for you relax your back slowly come up and now the last asana is drop back okay today today is just give you the foundation the basic of it I don't allow you, I don't let you go down, okay? Until you master of the foundation first and after, I we will see after, okay? First today, just keep preparation for drop back. No need to run. You don't need to hurry, run down. As so long as your body is still not ready enough, no force, no struggle at all, okay? Today, I try to give you the technique, try let you open your shoulder, your back, and give you strong so as muscle until you master it and then we can go down but today just preparation but I can show you how it looks when the body is ready everything easy right okay now the first what you can try is you try to stand here it depends on your flexibility a little bit fit out if you need to okay we load the shoulder back and down and the first try to open your chest see like this first and here straight here lift and open you will not get back uh, pain here right so try to do this first 
master this slide, this picture first. You can capture my picture, and after you look that you are same, and then you go to practice in the mirror and try to let it that it look like this. Okay. Here straight and here open. This is the first step. The second step, after you master this, you look in the mirror that ah, it's okay, and now you feel comfortable. You can do the other one. Okay? And now, after you feel comfortable with this, you can, but first step and second step is important for you today. Okay, the third and the fourth, I don't let you go down today. You just do the first and second first, you master it, and after we can talk about it in the next class. But this, it will not happen in one day, you know. You need to practice, you need to feel comfortable with this. Practice every day, everything is all is coming, okay. So the third, if you feel comfortable, you can go down. But today we do only the first and second, right? I just show you now. Okay, now after this, maybe you do bend down a little bit to Pada Hastasana. Okay, remember all the time when you do back bending, don't forget to do counter pose. It gives you also more flexibility, right? Okay, the last one. This I just show you how, how the body allows you to do it. If you are ready, it will get very easy. You will, need, you will not struggle or you will not fight for to do it, okay? You do it with love, with easy. Okay. Keep breathing. Slowly come up. After you make counter pose, forward bend. Okay. okay, this is very easy, right? When your body is ready, everything easy. I can show you one more round, okay? Last time and after, we will do counter pose. Okay, after you slowly forward bend. Okay. Okay, inhale, thumbs up. Exhale, bring the hand in front of your heart. Slowly bend your knees. And we will lock our back three times, okay? Hug your knees, round your back. One. Two, three. Okay, we do Pashimotanasana. Quick. Inhale, thumbs up. Exhale slowly. If you have tight hamstring, okay, feel free to use the strap. And you are here. It's already great. Okay. Next time I will show you how to do uh, Pashimotanasana. Okay. But now today you can do slowly like this. Or you can imagine try to. Suck your belly in and pull it down to the pelvic floor. It will be easy. Okay. After you slow down, keep breathing. Okay, now slowly come up. Lie on your back and chain to the other side. And we do twisting here. A moment. Arms by your side like a T. You can, I give you variation same, okay? Can bend your knees and drop to the right side. Or you can put your left leg and drop to the right side like this. Or you can straight your legs like this. And slowly go to the right side. 
and grab your left ankle. Choose variation you prefer. Choose variation that is suitable for you, okay? And breathe. Try to uh, let your shoulders down to the floor. Keep breathing. Enjoy this twisting. Very nice. I love this too. And how about you? You like twisting? It's nice. Okay, inhales up. Exhale slowly. Maybe you go down like this. Or maybe you cross your legs like this. Keep breathing. Inhale, leg up. We do one more time. Okay, one more round. I do eagle pose now. Okay, but try to put your uh, shoulder down to the floor. Okay. Okay. Inhale, up. Exhale. Right foot cross your left and slowly drop to the left side and look at your right hand. Inhale slowly up to the center. Exhale release. So now time for Shavasana. Okay, lie on your back. Try to put your lower back down to the floor. Relax your arms, your legs, your feet, your hands, okay. Allow your body to get a deep relaxation. Feel release the whole tension in your face, your eyeballs, your forehead, your eyeballs, your lips, your jaws, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your hips, your thighs, your legs, your feet. Just relaxing, releasing, and breathe. Slowly move your hands, your arms, your feet, your legs. Being free together. Now straight up over your hands, interlace your finger. And straight maximum like you wake up in the morning. And breathe. Exhale, release. You can hug your knees to your chest, rock side to side, cover times. So, so go your knees too. Okay, now slowly turn to the left or the right side. When you are ready, slowly come up to the sit position. Okay, take your time, no rush. After we do uh, yokasana, we will practice pranayama together. Okay, so when you are ready, sit nice and tall, and turn your spine. You can sit whatever you prefer. Okay, and turn your spine, lower your shoulder back and down. And today we will practice some um, Kapal Bhati Pranayama. Okay, it's nice and easy. This is great for uh, for skin problem, wrinkles. It's great also for that you have mucus. It's great also for detoxifying. 
but be careful if you have high blood pressure. You should not do more than 20 rounds at home, okay? But now anyway, today we do only six rounds. At home, you practice self. You start with a little bit minute first after you try to 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Only for pregnant women should not do and for uh, high blood pressure should not do more than 20 rounds. Okay, we try to do together. Try to let your shoulder, your face relax. We will not move up. We concentrate on exhale. Okay, inhale after you wait two, three seconds and pump the air out by exhale. You can do at your own pace, sit down. After that, you sit comfortable and we do meditation. Okay, inhale. You are ready, slowly close your eyes, cram your body, cram your mind. We do a little bit meditation. No worry about anything, no worry about the future, no worry about the past. Just let it go and breathe. Slowly bring your awareness back. We will closing our class with Gayatri Mantra together. Bring the hands in front of your heart. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep inhale. For head, exhale slowly, Buddha. We thank you to the nature, thank you to the universe, thank you to the Lord Shiva, thank you to our master, our guru, thank you to our parents, thank you to everyone, and thank you to yourself. That you 
come to practice with me. Thank you, everyone. Hope that you enjoy it. Okay, and feel free to tell me any comment if you like that. Uh, you want that I tell teach you something. Okay. Hope to see you soon. Namaste. Bye bye.